Okay. You can ask me any question you wish. Okay. Your daughter can. Okay. If it's up or down, in or out, uh -huh. lower, high, it doesn't it's matter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't let no one make me angry. Okay. Well, you ain't, ain't got to worry about me. I ain't gonna try to convert you. Well, it's Black History right, Month. Man. It's Black History Month, and this is like a national treasure. Uh, you met Brother Miller. You met Brother Miller. Yes. But brother, mm -hmm. I just called him on the phone. I see, I, I had met Malcolm's secretary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had some brothers up in New York, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I met like Sarah that. Mitchell, which is Malcolm's secretary for the last nine months. Mm -hmm. You was a what now? Uh, Sarah Mitchell. She's out in Lake. Come out and see Sarah, so everybody say so you need. I'm the first one that mm -hmm. called Malcolm up to speak. Like Malcolm was in prison, and he used to write the messenger when I lived with him. Mm -hmm. uh, once or twice a week, he get a letter. And when Malcolm got out of prison, he made it direct to Chicago. At this time, uh, I was living with the messenger. It's okay if I take some pictures. Picture. Pictures. I may not be in no picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look good at me. But you mess me up. No, uh, you go out there and show my picture to some lady. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a good thing. That'd be a good thing. That'd be a good thing. Yeah, but yeah, but she said, wait, wait, wait. That'd be a good thing. I mean, the thing about it, I saw a picture of him like some years back. Well, and he looked the same. Now look. On our internet, he looked just like he. Well, you know. At the age at all. Well, you know how young I am. You should be 101 here next that few is, months. That is correct. You be 101 in your months. So, so I said, let me get over there right quick. All the traveling and teaching and I, and it, cause I don't know anyone that ever made more converts than me. I don't know. So yeah. you you uh, built the first mosque in uh, from the ground up, yeah. Washington D.C. Not only the first, I'm the only one that was built one from the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Minister Lucius Brown, born uh. What? Uh, May 13, 1913. May the 8th. May the 8th, 1913. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's 1913. Yeah, I'm a May child. May child. One of the best children, one of the best person on God's earth is a May child. <laughs> Still looking good all these years. <laughs> if you ain't no May child, get back. <laughs> so you, you actually live with the Honorable Elijah. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, when he was in prison, see, I registered when he was in prison. You registered for the nation when Elijah Muhammad was in prison. That is correct. Okay. And when he got out of prison, uh, I met him. Well, the first week when he came out to speak in Chicago, uh -huh. uh, I was there. He was there. Uh, good luck to us. It was, it, should have been. it was it was up to the members whenever Elijah Muhammad passed away that is correct. To, to to choose a leader. That is correct. It was up to the members to choose that a leader. That is correct. Okay. That's divine. It was up to them. They should have come together themselves and agree on whether it would be John or, 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 or. we didn't do it. But that's the way it John was divine. Elijah's brother, wasn't he? Hmm? John Muhammad was actually is his brother is actually named John Muhammad. Yeah, I used to see him because he used to look like the Messiah. Yep. I, I'd be up teaching, and he'd walk in the building uh, in the mosque there, and I have thought one day it was the Messiah. You, you sort of favor John Muhammad, too. Y'all got that nose just like. Well, <laughs> my nose is my nose. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it was not up. To no one, spiritually speaking, mm -hmm. when I would lead a path, mm -hmm. it was up to the believers to look among themselves, that's according to the spiritual revelation, mm -hmm. and, and agree on a leader. Okay. Why would it be natural for the song? Wouldn't we think the song would be the next in line? Wouldn't if you look at a dictatorship and that, okay, but that ain't the way divinely it would operate. But that's the way we, we have it. Yeah. Whenever a divine man that is of divine depart, now it's up to the members to come together and agree on who they know and agree would be the best to represent them. <clears throat> now, if you study it, uh, the prophet Muhammad, when he departed, where did a leader come from? 
Oh, anyway, now the his women, family. Huh? It come his family, didn't it? Come what? Who, who, who was the leader? Ali. No. What I'm saying is, whenever a divine man finishes his work okay. among the people, mm -hmm. it is not up to someone to make themselves. Okay. It's up to the believers to come together right. and pick out one that they think would be the best to take the seat as a leader. So is that what Elijah Muhammad said, or that just a divine law? That's a divine law. Okay. And rule. Okay. That's it. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yes. So by Wallace being his son, it just naturally probably thought that he should be... Well, they, we had certain pictures, they say it was esoteric pictures, like the picture with Wallace and Farah Muhammad together. Oh, they the had Quran, a lot, brother, that. but I can only speak the truth right. according to divine. It's up to the believer to pick out one. That would be unity and oneness. It's not up to somebody else to come in and, and, and claim to be the leader. Right. But it happens. Right. And we respect that. I'm t giving you the facts of life. Right, I see what you're saying. You're not calling no names, but you just I'm giving just facts. giving you the facts. Right. We can do what we want. Right. <laughs> okay. What do we know about when uh, Prophet Muhammad departed? What happened? I don't know. Well, we ought to check it. What happened? I don't know. Right now. Uh, I ain't going, but... Uh, they probably had some bickering and fighting in that no, too. They, you know, no, that's a, no, you don't have it. Whenever a divine man passes that was divinely given, then it's up to the believers to look among them and agree on who should be their leader? If you ain't got that, what do you have? Dictatorship. It, it don't always happen because we are so unlearned in the spiritual sense and so divided, you know what the problem is. Then we find ourselves worshiping a man. Mm -hmm. And that is not to be. Mm -hmm. Honor, mm -hmm. respect. Acknowledge, accept. Yeah. You don't wish it. Huh. You recognize, but you don't wish it. Huh. But that's where many of us get. We wish it. In the churches, we we'll worship the pastor or somebody. But that ain't divine way. Hmm. So since we're talking about the divine, the divine way, and today is Savior's Day. So what, 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 let, let's talk about uh, the Master Farad Muhammad there for a second, for a minute. Man, what, what? Is, was, 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 was he God? I remember you asked Elijah Muhammad that. Yeah, he could have been a God. There are many gods. Right. I mean, and you many lords. Right. What I'm saying is, and I can say it anywhere, whenever a divine man finishes his work, work yeah. among the people that he divinely sure. sent to teach, then it's up to the believer right. to pick one. That keeps unity and respect. They have to say, no, I think we ought to get John. It's done like elected a, a, a governor or something. Right. I it's guess up to, to the people. people. I understand. That would be unity and that would be no problem. They will come together. Go right. study when Muhammad departed. See what happened I from will, the uh, people. Go study. I will. Go study that. when Jesus uh, finished his work. Now, now if, if a person got to come, well, anyway, there's a lot we need to learn. See, I was at the funeral. Elijah Muhammad's funeral? Absolutely. Okay. I know why the coffin was not open. It was there. Do you think that they would have brought an empty, paid them all that money for an empty box? Do we think that? Why was it closed? Huh? I, I think I heard you tell me. I, think, I, I think, know why it wasn't I think you open. told me that one. I know what I'm going to tell you now. Go ahead. Because the condition that his body had got into. Okay, yeah, I, I remember you telling me that. That's why it was closed. That's why they yeah, didn't. Wasn't it they were slipping him out somewhere else? Oh, no, no. They didn't want him to be seen in that. Well, my wife was right at, at, when he departed. He went to the undertaker. He was involved. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Why can't we have a little intelligence? 
<laughs> you, you don't have to tell all you know because we're going to hate you. <laughs> oh, man, let it out. Bring it on. Today's Savior's Day. It's a very special day. I knew I had I was to be there. here today. I was there. I'm, I'm sitting right there looking down at, at the box when they brought. Do, do we think they would have brought an empty box, an empty coffin? You think they'd have been carrying that around and carrying it out to the cemetery to put an empty box in the ground? If we think that's so wrong, we're uh, upset. You understand? Yes, sir. I'm there. I'm sitting as close to the box I am from that brother. When his son brought it in, <laughs> sit it down, and when they picked it up, the cat out, I walked out with it. Put it on Undertaker, locked it, shelled it in, closed the door, got in the car, followed it to the cemetery. So his body had to deteriorate because they, they kept him out a long time? Or what? It was just no, state of his health? No, it's a condition that he suffered before okay. he departed. Okay, okay. He had lost all, you know how people, you know, mm -hmm. physically. Right. Hmm. I would that my wife would live in the day. So, tell you so he was sick. He was really sick. Huh? He was real sick. Real what? He was really sick, seriously ill. His body just deteriorated a lot faster than most His people. His body was like anybody may deteriorate or suffer when you pass. Oh, please. They did not want him to be seen in that condition. Is that clear? The, the, the messenger, that's what you're saying. Now that's what I'm saying. The messenger, that the messenger shouldn't be seen. They didn't want his... His sons and family did not want him to be seen in the condition that his body had gotten in. This is something I don't always say. So what I'm trying to figure out here is that was his body in worse shape than the average person that would have died? I don't know. I didn't see it. I just know what they didn't want to be seen. They didn't want him to be seen. He, he began to deteriorate physically before he passed. Oh. I saw him. Okay. I visited. Man, that's deep. Well, it's true. Hmm. It's just right. And if they think that he is out on a plane, I wouldn't be possible they could go out there and dig up you and find him there. Find hmm. that body. Hmm. Hey. How, how is it we can be so easy fooled, but hard to accept the truth? I, I guess that's what people want to be fooled, I think. I agree with you. I, agree. I think they, they just want to be fooled. That's why they still stuck on Jesus today and waiting on him. He ain't came back yet. They, 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 they yeah, not even asking. Why is it not? They, they not even asking where he at. No, why he ain't came yet? I'll be out of the way. Don't ask sensible questions. He been gone so long and we in bad shape. When is he, when is he coming? You know that was a, 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 a woman preacher. I talked with an anesthetic group. She was believing that Jesus was this or that, like. Born of a virgin, it's all like that. I asked her a question, and it converted her. Hmm. I asked her a question, and that got that she was able to think. What was the question? The question was, do you believe that Jesus did not have, okay. or, uh, uh, that, well, I put it this way to her. I said, do you believe that Jesus uh, was born the way we said, without right. a biological father? Okay. Now, why would a woman care a baby nine months? Right. Physically, and ain't no man touched her. How can it be? It just can't be. It, it's, it's not scientifically. It ain't scientifically. Not clown. physically, no. That's not, no. That's it. Yeah, I get you. They, 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 they don't. They don't think. They, 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 they well, got a pretty immaculate conception. We brought up in this world, we are taught these kind of things, and we don't know. We have accepted it, and we don't want to think in our mind that these preachers, big shot preachers, are telling us something that ain't right. We don't want to think that way, and many of us don't think that way, but we should. All right. Some of us right now, I don't want to use our. People take it wrong. What's that? Go ahead. No, I don't. If my mind don't lead me to say it, you I don't say it. Okay. Say it. 
But this 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 woman, and wait a minute, here's a, here's a thought to look at. How many of us have read the Bible? And if we can read what I'm saying, Je Mary was never with Jesus in his teaching. Right. Go check it. Buddy. Right, right. Go check it. Don't take my word. Don't take nothing I said. Right. She was never with him. Hmm. Ain't that funny? Hmm. When he was in a room, had people laying all down on the floor according to the Bible, she was outside. And told us, go in there and tell him his mother want to see him. Yeah. You, you can read this. Yeah, I, I've, I'm, I'm I've not read code nothing. I've read it. You're right. And he went, your mother want to see him. He said, who is my mother? Who is my first sister? Brother, but you. you right, right. That are here right. to hear the words of God. Right. He never responded. Right. Now, on the other hand, I think this is in Luke. Is it Luke? In the ninth chapter, I believe. Where Jesus was saying to her, I'm quoting the scripture you can find. I'm, I know I'm quoting Right, I have heard, I've read it before. Um, he, 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 he said, didn't you know that I was to be about my father's, father's business? business? I remember that in church. Her response, she didn't understand what it meant. Why do people don't read to him? Mm. He looked at her, said, didn't you know that I was to be about my father's business? She didn't understand what he meant. That's the book. Now, how could she get a, get a son like the way they say and don't know what he meant? You know, it's a shame. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame yeah. how we are so easily, mentally, spiritually, psychologically, Live wrong. Mm -mm. So easy. Shame. You like that today? Yep. But that's it. That's it. I want to know the facts. As I tell anybody, let me lie, but tell me the facts. Hmm. Let me do the lying, mm -hmm. but tell me the truth. Hmm. And we are like that today. Jesus is in heaven. What? The right hand side of the father. Yeah, but what? <laughs> what does that mean? Is that physical? How did he get there? Yeah, right. On the plane? <laughs> but that, that's deep, man, because you if you ask them if it's physical, they they ain't gonna, they gonna get lost. I read about Castro, what is it? Castro India? There is a Castro India, a tomb that mm -hmm. the scholars there say is the tomb of Jesus. Yeah. They got one. They got one of Thomas over there too. I remember. Now listen, mm -hmm. Jesus said this. According to the book, I have sheep that are not of this flock. Mm -hmm. He said, "I too must gather." Mm -hmm. And when he finished with his disciples, he looked in, and, and greeted them and walked up the, the hill, up the mountain, down in Castro, India. And the, the less I got a book right now. Mm -hmm. That he died in India. And they got his body over there. I called Castle India on my telephone. Mm -hmm. I'm a man that studied. Mm -hmm. I called him and asked him. They agree. That he, he is over there. His body. Jesus' body. Absolutely. So Jesus was actually lived. What do you mean? He actually was an actual man. What, what? He was an actual man that actually lived. He was a real man? Yeah. Well, he was born a woman. Everybody born a woman is a real person. I, 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 unless there's something wrong, yeah. But some, some people say there's no such thing as Jesus. It's just Jesus totally just wasn't no Jesus. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I would that that person was here. Mm -mm -mm. So you do believe in Jesus? What? You do believe in Jesus? In what way? I mean, that he was a, a literal man that, that literally lived. Mary carried him nine months mm -mm -mm. and give birth to him. He was a human being. Hmm. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I didn't know you believed in that. I what? Knew that Jesus was a real man. How did you come to that? I don't that? know. I just, you know, you know how people be assuming they, they don't know. They just. Jesus was just as much a human person as I am. Maybe carried him how long? Nine months, I suppose. Now that she had him early. <laughs> 
Mesa Premi. We had Trevor Pope. We believe in Jay Cole coming down to the children. Yeah. We believe in all of this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's okay. If we want to believe it, go ahead. More power. <laughs> Jesus was a perfect human being. Mm. He, he cried. He got, he worried. Mary was a perfect woman. Do your daughter believe that that Jesus? Uh, uh, do your daughter believe that Mary gave birth to Jesus and, and was not touched by a man? I don't know. <laughs> well, leave it there. <laughs> That's well, something I never, I never asked it. Well, leave it off. Leave it off. Leave it off. Don't bother. I know that 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 that, that might not be the right thing to do. <laughs> might, might mess up. She well, might be run for life. <laughs> well, no, it may it, it may not be the wisest thing right, right now. Right, right. But it certainly would be an intelligent thing to think about. Right, I know. And talk about. Right. But it may not be wise. I, I think she got it straight though. Pretty sure. Well, we we'll leave it there. Yeah. We we'll leave it there. We we'll leave it right there. But this. This woman was a preacher. She was in a study group. Mm. And I asked her that question. And that's what converted her. Mm -hmm. I asked her, I said, why is it that Jesus' mother did not believe what he said? I did not understand. I said, why do you think that? She the mother. And that converted her, converted her, convinced her. That's right. Hmm. That, that was that was great the great work right there. Yeah. You know, it's kinda like they always see somebody always and always will be, I say, trying to trick you. Look how they tried to trick Jesus. Hmm. Hey, we caught this woman. We caught her in the act, Jesus. <laughs> Moses Law said to stone her. Hmm. What do you say? Have you read that? Yeah, about, about he was about saying catch first stone. Yeah. Uh, I remember that one. Now, what was their mistake? To, to trying to trick a man like you. Hmm. What was their mistake? Uh, Somebody always trying to trick you now. I don't know. What was it? They the, didn't bring the proof. Okay. The proof. How can a woman be in adultery by herself? Right, right. <laughs> right. Right. They were trying to trick Jesus to let Jesus offer some kind of judgment without the proof. Hmm. How's the woman going to be in adultery and the man ain't nowhere found? Hmm. It said Jesus turned over and started writing on the ground, didn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what it said. Have anybody ever asked, or have you ever asked anybody, some preacher, what did he write? Hmm. What did he write? Do you know? What would you think he wrote? I don't know. That's, that's interesting. I don't know. I have no idea. And do we have an idea? No. Nope. Think a minute. Okay, now they, they was telling the stone the woman. Now think a minute. Okay. Yes, you a little thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it, but you a little thinking. Mm -hmm. Here's the woman that these people brought to Jesus and said she was caught in the act. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to trick him now. Mm -hmm. He said, what do you say? He said, Moses said she should be stoned. What do you say? Jesus kneeled over. Knowing Jesus, he probably say, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do with No, no. no. <laughs> Jesus turned over and mocked on the ground. He looked at him. What do you say? <laughs> Moses said, we caught him. He wrote on the ground, mm -hmm. and my understanding did. Mm -hmm. Where is the man? Mm -hmm. And when they saw that, they walked away. How you going to condemn a person with dogs and ain't no man nowhere around? Hmm. <laughs> They was trying to trick him. And that's so? Yeah. Where's the proof? That's it. If she was calling the dust, why didn't they bring the man? Hmm. Hmm. That's something else, ain't it? But they didn't. They had the poor woman trying to trick Jesus now. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Jesus looked at him. What do you say? Come on. We caught her in that. What do you say? Jesus. Say, you that have no sin, cast for yourself. They walked away. Hmm. You that have no sin, cast for yourself. They were trying to trick him. How you going to accuse a person of an act and ain't got the evidence of it? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Man. They wanted Jesus.